Hey, Scott from Aristocop.com here. And Seth from TobaccoAdvent.com. Together, along with you, the three of us. We are Mark with Men's Breakfast Club. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Don't know what to do with my hands. So many things. Anyway, welcome to Tobacco Advent 2020, day 20. Whoa! Morning, boy. Good morning, Homer. How you doing? I'm doing all right. How about yourself? I'm doing okay. Okay. I'm excited uh, that uh, vacation is underway, for me anyway. Yeah, it has it has officially started, so I'm going to start packing into my pipe today's tobacco. Tell me all about it. Good morning, Scott and Seth. My name is Nick, and I'm from Concord, North Carolina. We, I've been that place. we do. Uh, I've been watching and enjoying your channel since I began smoking pipes in 2019. I like that your channel isn't just reviewing pipes or tobacco. Great, because we don't ever do that. <laughs> Glad you like that about You're us, You're in the right Nick. place, Nick. That's right. Uh, but rather feels like a weekly meeting with a couple of friends to discuss whatever comes up. I appreciate that you're both willing to share so much of your lives, family, friends, and hobbies with us strangers. I sent a sample of what I smoke 75% of the time. This is my own blend that I call Baker's Dozen. It's a blend of Virginia, Burley, Black Cavendish, and Cigar Leaf with a vanilla and bourbon topping. I hope you both enjoy it, and I wish you and your family the best this holiday season. Merry Christmas, Nick. Awesome. Nick, thank you, and Merry Christmas to you and your family. Now, something interesting happened. Uh, Neighbor. Nick had this label, uh, a laminated thing that's going to go somewhere, by the way. Baker's does, and I like that. But it was attached with a piece of tape that took off a perfect little square off of that, uh, that white. I guess that's painted on. That's, that's weird. weird. That's weird. <laughs> We'll, uh, we're going to put this huh. somewhere. Thank you, Dick. Drive through Concord. Used to pretty frequently. Used to live down in Charlotte. And then helped start a church in Kannapolis. So I was down that way all the time. I am happy the interstate is slowly oh. being expanded. Oh, yeah, so well, you, that, that whole time you were working down there, um, 85 was... Had one lane that was shut down. You know, well, Bar Barrel City. And the wild thing is, it was it was shut down on the I guess westbound going towards Charlotte, but the traffic was always trying to get out, and so the traffic coming home was always about twice as much as the traffic going in. But at the time, that lane wasn't shut down, and so it didn't matter. It didn't matter when we left. It was going to take two and a half hours to get home when it took an hour fifteen to get down there. That's crazy. I'm glad not to have to have that weekly well, commute anymore. Well, for a time there, we were actually driving north to Statesville and then east through Winston-Salem, which is insane. And down 77. So so imagine, instead of going from here to here... Instead of riding the a, hypotenuse. It, that's right. We went this way. Which, I mean, depending on traffic, can sometimes be faster. Well, at least we kept driving the whole time. Yeah. The other advantage for a while there was there was a um, JR Cigars in State, Statesville at the time. So we used to stop by there. But uh, oddly enough, they closed that location right after they got 85 fixed. Mm. Well, they actually changed it. They went they went strictly tobacco and moved down the road a ways and um, now they're basically a cigar bar. In Statesville? Uh, no, it's down closer to... Um, uh, Lake Norman. Hmm. Closer to Lake Norman. Uh, oh, where yeah. the money is. Correct. Yeah. I, I was there with uh, Brother Boontar. We hmm. sat in that lounge and smoked some cigars. It was pretty good. Mm -hmm. So do we have a question today? We're just going to sit here and smoke. Which I mean, not that'd a be bad fine. choice, actually. Uh, no. Um, l let me uh, give an update on a little something. We we've, we've received some questions about it. I told you guys, I guess at the beginning of Tobacco Advent or maybe even uh, in the end of the month um, about the Christmas gift that I'm making, the elaborate Christmas Christmas gift, or more specifically, a simple Christmas gift with an elaborate, elaborate <laughs> wrapping paper. Um, That's it. So, I am mm, glad and nervous to report that progress has been made. But at this point uh, that you guys see this, this afternoon, we are going to be driving to Williamsburg for a three to four day um, family trip that I was Williamsburg, ex Virginia, Colonial Williamsburg, Colonial Williamsburg, 
for a four or five day, four day family trip that I was expecting to happen after Christmas. So the amount of time that I have to work on this thing is less than uh, I was originally planning. And of course, as a procrastinator, um, it's not great when you lose <laughs> when you lose the days that the work is actually supposed to get done. Well, how did that happen? Mm. How did you wind up thinking it was after Christmas and it turned out to be before? Well, it's not that I misplanned. I was making assumptions. Last year we went immediately after Christmas. Right. Um, you know, Christmas being on a Friday, it would make sense to go after Christmas. And so it just worked out that um, we're both off earlier in the week and it just wasn't, I wasn't involved in that decision making process of when the day was gonna be and that's okay. fine. Um, it's, it's all right, but I'm excited to report that uh, good progress is being made. I can't wait to show you guys the final product. I can't wait to have a final product. Um, I have had to cut back on some of my ambitious ambitious goals, but at this moment, uh, I was up um, last night until 3 a.m. working on some of the Arduino stuff, getting things wired up. Um, uh, and there's a part of it that's gonna be laser etched. Um, uh, one of my friends is, uh, is using that. I've already 3D printed a number of, of pieces. So I told you, I think I told you, that what I'm making is a is a basically an escape room. Um, it's gonna have a couple of components. Um, uh, the sequence will involve a standard Christmas card that has some very clearly hidden code in it that will lead to a number of different ornaments hidden around the tree that when put together will create a QR code that goes to a website with a video and maybe some other stuff, I'm not there yet. That will lead to a physical, ob a couple of physical objects, one being a um, case uh, that will have all sorts of different puzzle pieces inside and various pieces. The other being an electronic um, table, basically, or box that has um, the laser etched piece on top where specific pieces have to be placed on this board. There will be a key that's the final component that has to be turned and all of those things are talking to Arduino software to open up a piece to actually so what part of this gift. is finished is the key ready the key has been designed but not 3d printed <laughs> uh, are the ornaments made uh no i forgot <laughs> i uh, honestly forgot about the ornaments until uh this afternoon i that they had back burned those Q qr codes no no uh <laughs> there's a lot of a lot of parts of it that are are partially 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 completed. is the gift that all this wrapping is leading to is that purchase i made? only decided yesterday what that gift was going to be oh my goodness. so up to this point it's all been about the wrapping and not the gift i decided yesterday what the gift is going to be um it uh the, the gift i think it's safe to tell you guys just don't tell the person who i'm secret santing for um, the gift is going to be a, a theme matching, uh, matching the theme of the puzzle box um, set of metal uh, Dungeons and Dragons dice in a in a leather bag. It's really slick, um, really 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 nice. It will be greatly appreciated, and it ties in with the the theme of the whole puzzle piece, the whole puzzle thing. Wow. Um, so I have five statues that are about yay by yay by yay. Um, that will have magnets embedded in the base. Those are printed. I have a um, lock housing. Uh, the lock housing is designed and 3D printed already. That is going to house one of the sensors. And then the key has been designed. It hasn't been 3D printed yet, but there will be a magnet embedded in the, the um, I guess, teeth of the key that um, as you insert it in and turn it, it will engage the sensor. Okay. Um, thankfully, I'm relying on on my coworker and friend who has has been incredibly helpful with some of the coding part. Um, he is he's going to be wiring up strips of LEDs um, and having them independently coded so that they are a timer, so that they will slowly uh, start to change color as time goes by. And they will also flash when um, something is successfully put in place. So I have to act as a trigger. So, you know, there's uh, not a lot to be done. <laughs> there's so much to be done. There's so much to be done. I am looking forward to December 26th when I can sleep, is what I will say.
So we're not going to see that here until maybe an episode, a, a regular weekly episode of Mark with Men's Breakfast Club. Is that probably the case? All right. So, hey, just so you know, uh, we are recording this ahead of that trip to Wilmington and, um, or Williamsburg. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. You've sent in enough tobacco to get us through. So we're, we, got, we got it through Christmas. And in fact, if there's still a few more that arrive, we'll do some post-Christmas uh, videos right. as well. And um, just wanted to remind you of a couple things. If you're not already posting video responses, we do want to hear your answers to our daily questions. And if you post a video response, you get one name in the hat to win a, a Cobbett pipe. Um, if you post two videos, your name goes in the hat twice. If, if you post three of them, three times. What hat? Though? I got a hat. Do you? I got do a you? hat. Yeah, trust me, I got the hat. All right. Um, also, uh, we announced a couple days ago that we would start putting together a official Christmas uh, Mark Men's Breakfast mm. Club Tobacco Advent Christmas Music Playlist. That's been developed. We're adding to it as people uh, put a link to a video if you find not just the song that you like, but the actual performance that you like on YouTube, post that URL of that video in response to whatever day that was. Mm. Put that in, in, that in a comment, and then I'll add it to the playlist. Never going to give you up on the playlist yet? No, not yet. Mm. Not yet. So we're going to Rickroll some mm -hmm. people? <laughs> oh, did you see? Somebody Rickrolled the internet so hard recently. Um, all of these companies, YouTube and Twitch in particular, have been have been really talking a lot about uh, coming DMCA copyright strikes and, and and proposals and things about taking taking any copyrighted written um, stuff off of your videos and being just very very strong handed about that. Um, on Twitch, it's a big deal because people are streaming live, and traditionally, it hasn't been as big of an issue because if you're streaming live, you are um, I don't know, it, it falls under something something different. Some but the problem is, fair use. Right, the yeah. problem is that so many of those things are then cut and uploaded as recordings. And so they're they're trying to take a, a strong thing. Somebody posted about how it took it took 20 years, or not 20 years, it's uh, 15 years, um, but due to these new um, DMCA policies, YouTube has finally uh, taken down, never going to give you up. And with a link. So, and here's, they've, what, they've replaced here's it. what it's put in its right. place. Yeah, this, is, this is what they replaced <laughs> it with. And just, it was, it was such a successful Rickroll. Awesome. So good. Yeah. That's great. Anything else you want to mention before we go? The tobacco. Oh, I'm, I'm going to just keep smoking this. I enjoy it. We didn't have a question today, did we? No, uh, we didn't have any. Nobody, ran out of questions. Question. Ran out of questions. We're going to supply some own, some of our own over the next few days. But uh, this was a good, uh, maybe a little a little interlude. Um, All right. So, so oh, you want to ask a question so they can film a, a, cons a VR? Consider this a lewd. Uh, I tell you what, uh, shoot us a VR. Tell us um, how how you're coming on on anything that you're supposed to be. Either completing as a gift or uh, purchasing as a gift that you've yet to get done. Don't forget, uh, CVS is open on uh, Christmas Day. So Amazon and UPS are already talking about uh, uh, get it, get it while getting it's good. Because mm. I saw UPS announcements um, on their website talking about COVID and, and being short staffed. So wow. expecting delays. In fact, a gift for my wife, which was supposed to be here four days ago for her birthday, which is on the 29th. Will not arrive until January second. I'm real oh. upset about it. I'm real. I'm bummed. But it is a bummer. All right. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Thank you for <laughs> to the backo. Yes, uh, enjoying this a lot. Um, make it a great day, and we'll see you again tomorrow. See ya.